Hey folks, uh, it's, uh, I don't even remember what day it is, but uh, last day here in Atlantic City and that video on the 64 was such a hit, I wanted to do a little follow-up because some of you asked, and it's a good question, okay, that's great, it's so loud and crazy sounding close up, but what does it sound like in the room? Well, as you can see, I am all the way back here, uh, not against the back wall of the room, but close, and uh, I'm where they do the, the lighting, uh, lighting controls for shows here. And Nathan Bryson is at the console back there, and he's going to play a scale on the 64 by itself, uh, starting at C25, so starting at C of the 32 foot octave, actually I guess a 16 foot C, and go all the way down through the 64 slowly, so you can hear that by itself. And then we're gonna repeat the bottom octave with the 64 and a 16 and a 32 and an eight, so that you have a little bit more idea of how it works with other pitches involved. Uh, and uh, you know, the, the microphones on this video camera aren't the greatest, so it's not gonna be, you know, amazing, but you'll, you'll have a, a sense of what goes on. So with that, I will turn it over to Nathan. Have at it. So uh, I would say, in conclusion, that some notes are more effective than others just because of the way the pipes are constructed and the tuning a little bit here and there, but uh, probably didn't pick up on the camera, but somewhere around low D, maybe D sharp, there were some pretty darn effective notes in here. In the back of the hall, you can really, really sense the, uh, the individual pulsations and it almost feels like you're getting your ears boxed a little bit. So from uh, Boardwalk City, Boardwalk City, what am I saying, Atlantic City, uh, November of uh, 2019. We'll see you next time.